Hey, what's going on ladies and gentlemen? It is your boy Codexual, aka Hackshell, and today we're gonna be installing a seed box. A seed box is used for torrenting. Now this will be a secured seed box uh, that will have PIA, private internet access installed on it. You can choose any other um, VPN services that you may have, but in this video, it's gonna be with PIA. Um, even though that things are in the desktop mode after we get everything all set up, you can put it in headless mode. So you uh, uh, will save more resources and it'll, everything will be all command line basis versus uh, GUI interface. Anywho, let's go ahead and get the show on the road and let's uh, let's start downloading the software that we need. Um, I'm using um, uh, VirtualBox and if you are doing the same thing, I want to share a folder. So into the settings, then we'll go down to the shared folder. Then you select the folder that you want. Uh, let me select the pathway. I just have files that uh, I want to s not show on screen. Uh, let's see. So here's here's uh, my VM drive. And right here, I've put in legal torrent files here. So we're gonna go ahead and select that. And we also want to make sure it's auto mounted. You can make it permanent. I uh, do not have it as read only. It will be able to read the files that you put it in on the desktop side versus trying to overwrite or add files on the client side of the virtual machine. So go ahead and enable that, click okay. And now once we uh, go back here and into the folder, when we try to access that, it says that you do not have permission. Now that's an easy fix. So you wanna open up um, a terminal and you're gonna enter in this command, uh, right here. Gonna enter in this command right here. And so what this command does is you're running this as root, um, you're adding the user, which is the current user Ubuntu, and you're gonna add it to this permission group. And now all you gotta do is reset it, or if we were to uh, access, access it again, it shouldn't give us that problem. Okay, so we're gonna have to reset that. So let's go ahead and uh, ignore that for the moment. Um, we'll reset it after everything is done what we want to do is install our qubit torrent. That's the client software that we will be using. And I'll show you how to set up the settings in there. So let's go ahead and do that. Uh, tech Y for yes. So it just installs it. Instead of asking, would you like to install? And yes or no. That's what that flag is for. So now that's installed, um, let's open up qubit torrent and agree. And uh, where is it? should pop up here on the left. There it is. I'm gonna add that to the favorites. So we do not have the VPN installed just yet, but we are gonna um, modify our settings, our preferences, then we'll install it. Okay, so what I like to do, and it's all preferences on what you wanna do. Um, I'm gonna scroll down here just to look for the things that I want to toggle on. Connections, use different port on each. No, that's fine. Speed, that's fine. Enable anonymous mode. This won't stop the ISPs from, like, let's say if you're not using a VPN, right? It's not gonna stop the ISPs or those third-party trackers to see what you're illegally downloading. It will only stop things to a point, such as fingerprinting. Um, but it won't stop you from, oh, oh the, um, um, it hides my IP. It does not. So, but it does help hide fingerprinting. So I want web UI interface and I'll show you the magic behind that. So, yeah, um, when it shows the star, that means any connection, um, local or people from, uh, um, external IPs can't connect to this. However, I only want uh, local machines to connect to it. So let me go ahead and hit NumLock and uh, put in my um, my local ISP settings here. So if you want the same thing, all you gotta do is type in if config, that's a fresh install, so. Uh, 
Ah, uh, pseudo. I also forgot to hit tech Y, but I guess that didn't matter. All right, so um, here's my uh, internet, uh, my uh, IP address, and it's going to be 192.168 point blank point blank, and that's what you want to replace with the asterisk. So um, any local IP can connect to this virtual machine, and they'll be able to uh, view it as a web UI. I'll show you here in a second. We're just going to leave that as admin. Um, the password is going to be torrent. It will require at least, you know, six characters or longer. Uh, you can leave this as is. We're going to hit apply. Um, it does have, um, if you have DYN, DNS, or no IP, and if your IP address always changes, this will work out in your favor. So, uh, I know there's a couple other things that I wanted to modify. Oh, that's right. Uh, when you go to downloads, um, default save path. So we want to go to here. And uh, it says that we do not have permission, but we're going to put that there anyways. So now every time when I download something, it will save into that directory. So it will not save into the VM container itself, but however, it will save to the drive that I specified outside of the VM. So I'm able to access it from my normal desktop. So you're going to hit OK. And um, let me open up a web browser here. And let me type in the IP address. All right, so I'm trying to access uh, 192.168.1.119 and whatever your IP address is on your virtual machine. Um, it's gonna ask for that username and password. Great, I'm gonna have to modify or edit this video now to censor that out. I was hoping not to do that. And the password is torrent. So now that we are in, um, I don't wanna save that. Now that we are in, um, we can add torrents or a magnet link here on the desktop end rather than on the virtual machine end. So that will be very helpful when we put this in headless mode. So let's go ahead and uh, get that out the way. Let's go ahead and install our VPN now. Again, I'm using uh, private internet access. So we're gonna click on download PIA for Linux. All right, now that we have the option to download it, let's go ahead and hit save. Uh, it's already saved in. So here is the file. We're gonna click show all. If we try to click on it, it's just gonna open up a text editor. Um, for whatever reason, it does not want to run it um, through um, through here. So we're going to click on Show in Folder. And now we're going to open up a terminal. So right-click, Open Terminal. So now it'll take us to the Downloads folder. You're going to type in ls, and you'll see the file right here. Um, do not run this as um, root, because it'll tell you not to. So we're going to type in bash. PIA, hit the tab key, and we'll automatically fill in the rest and let it install. Now it's going to ask for your password. All right, now it's installed. We're going to go ahead and log into it. Check out private internet access today. It's going to act as your digital content because when you're sticking your things in places where they don't belong, you're going to be fucking yourself over. Now, when you visit no-no sites, like when you're looking at stuff that you're not supposed to, or you're downloading things illegally, there is no logs that is kept by PIA. Now, the U.S. Supreme Court is like, hey, uh, we need you to log all your users and we need to see if they're up to no good. And PIA is like, yo, government, we don't have logs. That's part of our policy, bro. So that gives you a extra confidence that you can download things illegally. Not I'm saying you should, but I'm just saying they don't keep logs, man. Now, if you can't afford for $10, give or take a, a month, then don't fucking click skip ad on my videos because I need that moolah. Buy PIA today. Thank you. Now that we're logged in, what we want to do is make some settings. So we're going to click uh, on these uh, three dots here. Click settings. 
Launch on system startup, connect on launch. It should be pretty self-explanatory. Uh, scroll down or go to each tab. It's fine, that's fine. Um, we want VPN kill switch and we also want advanced kill switch. That's fine, that's fine. Okay, so what advanced kill switch or kill, any of these kill switch does, whenever the VPN is not connected to a server, it will disconnect you from the internet entirely. So for that meaning and for other people's purposes, if you were illegally downloading a file torrent and it somehow disconnects from your VPN and it, it's now using your ISP's unsecure connection, now all these third-party trackers, including the ISP, are able to see what you're downloading. And you do not want that because you'll get a DMCA. You'll probably get a knockdown on your door from the police um, saying, hey, stop illegally downloading um, illegal software, movies, blah, blah, blah. Uh, we're going to send your ass to jail, to court, blah, blah, blah. So that's what this... Um, the kill switch helps. So it will immediately kill off any connection until it's able to connect back to the VPN services where it's able to encrypt that data. Um, I just wanna make sure that I have everything all set. Uh, we do not want light mode. We want dark mode. Put on your hoodies because everyone's a hacker now. Uh, let's see. Yep, 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 that's fine. All right. So now um, now if I try to go to Google, right, it, it won't work because I need to connect to a VPN. I need to select a region that I don't want to select to. Now, it all depends on what region you want to uh, connect to. But um, I don't want to connect to anything because here on the bottom left, it will actually show my IP address. And here on the bottom right, it will show the server's IP address. But as soon as you are able to connect, it will, um, you know, you can browse as normal. Here, I'll just go ahead and just bring that down a bit. Hopefully it doesn't show the IP addresses. It shouldn't. Okay, now that I'm connected, let's go ahead and reload Google. Boom. Look at that. I have internet access again. So now I'm able to, you know, start... Um, um, everything will start resuming and downloading, um, you know, all the files. But uh, that's basically it. Um, as for putting things in headless mode, that'll be for another video. Um, you can Google it yourself or go to a different YouTube video. I don't know if I'm actually going to make a YouTube video putting it headless mode, but um, that's how you set up a seed box. So when you're running VirtualBox and you're having problems of trying to get this VM trying to connect on your lo local network and you're unable to access it, um, what you wanna do is right click on here, then you're gonna go down towards the network and put it in adapt uh, bridge adapter. And so instead of NAT, which it's defaultly on, it's now bridge adapter. So now it acts like another machine that's on your network and it's being assigned an IP address from your router. And now you're able to actually have um, that IP address of um, um, 192.168 point something point something as it shows right here. So hopefully that will help you out. Um, yeah, I hope that this video was informative. I hope that it was helpful. Um, don't illegally get caught downloading or just don't illegally download anything you know that that's my disclaimer whatever you learned from this video uh, i don't take any actions for what you do you know you've been warned but um this video will definitely help you out and circum in certain cases all right i hope you guys have a great fantastic day like share subscribe um yeah take care